So in this lecture, we are going to continue from the previous topic, and we were doing the operations in C language. So today we're going to see uh, the unary operators. So unary operators consist of many operators like uh, plus plus minus minus plus minus type size of data, okay, and some of the negation and complement to complement and pointer and the ampersand which is the address sign we are going to use. Here it is the increment, it is decrement, okay? And also see, let's see the example are we going to understand it better. So first example is A++. What does this mean? It means that you need to add 1 to the A and assign it to A, okay? For example, if I say if A equals to 5 above this line, it means that you want to have A equals to 6 from the next line, okay? What about this sentence? It means that you need to assign A first, okay, to B, and then increment the value of A. For example, if the value of A is 5, for instance, in the next sentence, B would be 5, fine, and A would be equal to 6. So what we have done is, first assign the value of A to the B, and then increment the value of A. Okay? Let's see the next example. This example tells that you need to increment the value of A first. Okay? First increment the value of A, A equals to A plus plus, and then assign it to B. Let's see an example. If A equals to 5, okay? Then from the next line, equals to 6, and then B equals to 6. Okay, and now let's see this complex example. It will be uh, uh, easy to understand here. Okay, to solve this example, you will need to remember this line that I have already told you. Okay, Bruna Rift, rebit log, dot comma. So here, you can see that there is no brackets, fine. Unary operators are there? Yes, it is there. Unary operators are there. So, you need to search for the unary operators first. How to search is, first go to the uh, equal to sign. From there, you need to take a uh, operand and then take two uh, plus operations, uh, two plus symbols, and then take a bracket here. Okay? And then, if you go down here, it is saying it is a simple plus operator. It is a plus operator is fine. And see, A is associated with plus minus. So it is not a decrement or increment. So if you go down here, you can see that there is a pre-decrement operation with the A or associated with A. So you need to uh, take it as a bracket. Now you can solve it. Okay, from the left to the right, you need to look and see if the value of A is 1. So what is the value of B? So here you can see that uh, the A is uh, placed here as 1. Okay, I'm talking about this B equals 2. A is placed, then incremented. The value of A would be incremented then. So here the value of A would be equal to 2. Okay, and then you need to add A, which is 2, add 2 here. I'm talking about this one, this part, okay? And then plus decrement the A first, decrement it, and then plus here 1, okay? So value of B would be equal to 4, okay? You can write in 4, okay? Let's try out an, an example. So here you can see that B equals to A plus, and then the bracket is here, and with the uh, pre-increment operation on A and also we have a pre-decrement operation on A. Okay, so what you're gonna do is first according to this rule we have the bracket so we need to evaluate the bracket first. So here it is saying that first increment the uh, value of A so you need to increment it. Okay, and then you have to place the values from the left to right. So B equals to what is the value of A? I'm talking about this A. A value is 2 plus 
then you already have this uh, we have already placed the value of 2 so it's fine then plus okay so what is the value of this it is pre decrement operation so first decrement the value of a and then place it okay so value of this will be equal to 5 okay and already we have seen this uh, statement before negation of 3 it is true so true uh, negation is false so it is 0 in integer what about this so it is a tilde sign we have placed before the 7 so if you see this 7 along the tilde sign in front so you need to add 1 to 7 and place a negative sign and what about this one so if this negative 8 is again complemented okay so it is uh, comes back to a the same 7 okay so here uh, you can see that this 8 if you see negative sign just uh, multiply it by 1 and then subtract value of 1 for example here you can just write it like this if you have minus 8 just multiply this with minus 1 it becomes 8 and then negative 1 so it gives you 7 and also you can write here as uh, 7 into minus 1 okay and you need to add it. so here you can see that this uh, operation is actually the same operation you can also judge it here operation is same so you need to multiply it by 1 and subtract 1 okay so this bracket goes on in this way okay and also here so the method is very easy okay now let's talk about the compound operations or assignment operations and it is from the right to left it means that the uh, any value is assigned from the right to the left for example here uh, you can see that this 3 is assigned to A from the right to left okay so what does this mean A plus equals to 3 okay so it does mean that uh, you need to add 3 to A okay and what about this one it looks so similar but it is not similar it it means that we are assigning plus 3 okay we are assigning a plus 3 to the a it, it this sentence is uh, having this meaning okay so there's a difference so you need to uh, take a note of this difference and what about this one it means that you need to subtract 1 from a and then assign it to a okay and what about this one so uh, here there's a right shift equals to 1 it does mean that a is right shifted by 1 or divided by 2 and then assign it to a for example if I write a equals to let's say 6 okay if a equals to 6 then the value in the next line would be equal to a equals to 3 okay why because it means that 6 is divided by 2 and then assign it to a okay so a is equals to 3 and now we need to execute this one it is a complex one but we will make it simple how let's say the first rule is bracket there is no bracket is there unit operators let's see about this unit operators yes we have unit operators here you can see that uh, there is a unit operator here okay so up till this part okay I'm not able to select it here it is unit operator okay this operation is unary operation and uh, there is a simple plus here okay and let's uh, evaluate the sentence first so a right shift equals to the value of a is placed first okay so value of a is 1 okay and then increment the value of a which is 2 all right and then you need to add the value of a again so a is 2 now so here now you need to evaluate the sentence now you can see that the arithmetic operation should be the next to be evaluated so here you can evaluate this 2 plus 1 is 3 right and it is very simple to execute now we have to multiply this a 
with 2 power 3 okay it is left shift that's why we multiply it by 2 power 3 right and that's all for this lecture thank you for watching